Hi everyone, Steph here. Thank you so much for stopping by. I would like to say welcome to all my new subscribers and my returning subscribers. Thank you all so much guys for all your support. So I have another Valentine's Day project to share with you and these are treat boxes that I've created using an 8.5 by 11 cardstock. I will be doing a quick tutorial at the end to show you how I came up with the box put it together. It's quite easy. You could make these while watching videos or watching TV or whatever. Um, so, But as usual, let me share with you quickly what I have used to um, decorate my boxes. It's similar to the stuff that I used in my previous um, a video with the heart shaped pocket tag. So, um, these I've used these clothespins, and I apologize for the glare. Hope I'm not giving you too much glare. So, these are um, some Valentine's Day clothespins. This is a pink, the reds, and I got these at the local store a couple years ago. Um, I got these foam stickers. These are the conversational hearts. Sorry, I used that and um, some blings from the last time. I used a couple of these foam stickers and I got these from my friend Tere, people over here, so thank you so much. Um, again, I used my soul binders die, like the last time. I used this heart punch from Fritzker's. Um, I have other heart dies that are small like this, but you know, to be running a die one by one, you know, with a punch, I could just like punch several and get going. Um, I used this X-Cut, um, die again this set again and this is by do craft x cut and this set is called love icons i got it on amazon and i got it from amazon prime which is half the regular price so all i used from this one um from this die set this time was the arrow there that's it so uh also let me clear off some stuff also, I got locally these heart-shaped doilies, and it's 28 to a pack for only $2. So, And um, again, this is the envelope pack. Yes, um, someone asked me from my last video where can they get it. I've searched the internet. I cannot find it. I'm so sorry. It's American Crafts, and it's with Love Collection. Um, but I use the stickers like I mentioned in that last video that I will be using. I still have a few more to go and I have the sheet more to go. So that's there. This is the paper pack that goes along with this. Um, again, American Crafts with love. So I've used only, I only have a few left there, but I still have my scraps which I can make. Um, embellishments. And then this one is again, this is with love, but this is recollection. You know, um, so I've used quite a few and I have a few sheets left. And this one is Love by Recollection. And I have a bunch of pieces left here. So, okay. Now, like I said, it's, it's street boxes and this is basically how it looks. So, inside I have a mini wine. So I'll be putting a mini wine or champagne. I have a teddy bear is the keychain and in the bottom um, some chocolates yes it, it's so cute but it hold you know just what you need so this is one and this is the other one isn't it cute like he's holding the teddy bear so this is the only two that I have um, packaged and I will be putting them um, with cellophane and you know tie tie a pretty ribbon at the top you know and have a tag so the other one I haven't put anything in there yet so we have this one and if you notice I put the clothespins on top of them so you see where I use a heart doily I use a spell binders that with foam glitter foam and this is a heart punch I punch like three put them together I ink them with um, that gold edging is from this deco color premium marker I love this stuff I got this from Amazon as well um, thanks to nurse Tara hey Tara and um, here is that gold arrow and these are the foam hearts so the conversational ones and I pick some a medium and a small and I use those bling there and at the top there so the close one is just decoration and I have a satin bow at the top there so this is the side and this is the back so the back have the um, designer paper as well layered with um, the contrasting cardstock so that's that one there and here's another set 
So it's the same design, you know. I hope you can see these well. I'll try to put pictures at the end. We have two more in the reds. And this is the last two here. So these were quite fun to make and I will share with you quickly how um, how I did it. Now my mom taught me that you know if someone is hungry and just give them a fish <laughs> they eat for one day but if you teach them, teach them how to fish they could eat every day. So let me share with you how I came up um, with my measurement. So like I said it's an eight and a half by eleven um, cardstock and this is quite a, um, a nice weight cardstock so okay so eight and a half I hope you can see this oh, I will put the measurement in the description box below if you cannot see it. so eight and a half by eleven paper so on your eleven inch side I know that I want a half an inch for my closure I have one the paper is going to be continuous and I need to close one end to the other so I'm using half an inch so you take away half an inch from your full length of that side so you left with ten and a half inch to work with now a box have four sides on my smaller side which um, is going to be in my case two inches so it has two sides that needs to be two inches so that equal to four inches so I'm taking away four inches from the ten and a half which leaves me with six and a half inches to play with now the six and a half inches is going to be for this side here the biggest um, wall so this is two inch and this is what I have left to work with so I need a front and a back so I divide it by two so three and a quarter inch should be for each of those sides so this is three and a quarter this is two inch this is three and a quarter and this is two inch I hope that makes sense to you so whatever paper you're going to work with you take your um, if you know um, your longer side and that's what you're going to break down to get each um, dimension for your four walls does that make sense <laughs> Uh, if you have any question let me know but like I said I'll put um, my measurements for this box in the description box below okay all right and this is how we're going to score it so on the 11 inch side we're going to score at half an inch two and a half inch five and three quarter and seven and three fourths okay so we're going to score at half an inch I hope you can see that and then two and a half because from here to here is my first two inch for the for this side okay so two and a half and then my next one is five and three fourths and that will be the three and a quarter for this side so five and three fourths so five three fourths so that's my first big wall which is this now we need this other side here which is another two inch so five and three fourths plus two inch give you seven and three fourths and then your last wall which is supposed to be three and a quarter you have it right here three and a quarter space okay so there you have it your closure your first um, wall the second wall the third and the fourth now we are going to do a lip if you notice I'm not sure if you could see inside very well because I'm having a glare in my viewfinder and I hope it's not um, coming off that way to you guys but I have a nice clean finish here because I fold it inside I fold the lip inside instead of just having just that edge of the paper like you know, like just having this right and beside it's more sturdy so that's what I'm going to create there it doesn't matter which way you turn it that way or this way it doesn't matter okay I'm going to give myself a one inch one inch lip so all the way across and now for my closure at the bottom here of my box I'm going to give myself two inches okay which is the same depth as that okay so there Okay. 
Okay, so now we are going to cut the bottom slits here for the bottom here. Okay, sorry if you hear airplane noise, guys. I live by an airport. So I'm going to cut off this. This is the closure of the box for the size. And I'm going to cut here as well. Okay, so this is the bottom of the box. I usually just cut on an angle, not on the score line. You could do that if you want, but I don't want to be doing three cuts. So I just do two. Cut through the back. Just a slight little angle. it for your cutting so now this is your top your top lid I'm not going to do any cutting on this it will work out just fine um, all right so I'm just going to make sure that I burnished my score line properly What I do is, you could use tape, but white glue is my friend. So this is my top lid. Just gonna put some glue in the inside here. And I'm going to put some glue on this half an inch that we did here. Not too much, and not too much on the edge, either edge, this core edge or the cut edge there. Now, all I do is I press it all the way there, but if you notice I did not press here. I'm gonna take that and hope you could see. I'm just gonna slide it right in there. You see that? Right in there, all the way. Make sure that it's buck. See the score line match? So you know you have it straight. You don't wanna press too hard because you don't want the glue to ooze out if you're using liquid glue. Now you have a clean top, a clean edge, right? And then what I do is I would put a piece of tape there. That way it helps the wet glue. I just put it right on the edge there. I'm not putting it on the glue. I could put it all the way here because everything will be cover up. And what I do is I put it together like that. Put my hand inside. Let it grab the tape. Sorry. Get that tape. I put a little glue in here. Press that down. And put some glue here. that down then I go inside and I use I use a sponge you know it's heavy and it fit perfectly there and I just press it down 
and it will grab my glue will dry and there is my box easy peasy and you just go to town with your decoration the more layers you put the more sturdy the box is but this this um, cardstock is quite um, sturdy it's weighty so that's how I put the box together um, I hope that the tutorial was helpful I will have um, pictures at the pictures right after this but these were so fun to make I did them like I did like what um, 16 I think um, already you know so they were quite fun and I get to use up all my Valentine's um, crafty goodies thank you so much for all the love and support on my previous video if you have missed it it will be in the description box below or maybe at the end I'll have a link on the video Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so by clicking the profile picture that is on the left hand side of your screen. And if you have missed any of my Valentine's Day projects, I will have a link on the right hand side of your screen. Thank you all so much guys. Take care. Bye.